Well, from the old age of newspapers to the reality of the cybercrime of today, well, it may sound like a movie plot that someone would, have, would hold your personal information hostage for ransom, but it happens more often than you think. Think about this. From 2013 to 2014, 45 times more people fell victim to having their device or files held hostage. So we are checking in with cybersecurity expert Kevin Haley to find out how we can protect ourselves. The internet keeps us connected with close relatives and distant friends. But now more than ever, it keeps us seconds away from being a victim of a cyber attack. A new internet security threat report from Norton shows more people are downloading malware right from their online communication channels. The company's director of security response, Kevin Haley, says these deceitful messages contain a new type of threat called ransomware. And what attackers are doing at twice the rate they were doing the year before is getting on people's machines, locking down their personal files, their documents, their photos, sometimes even their tax returns, encrypting it so that we don't get access to it. And then they're demanding $300, $400, even $500 to unlock those files files so that we can get our own files back. Haley says hackers are targeting anyone at any time just to get the big bucks. And the threat to your privacy has become more severe with mobile media. In social media and on our phone, we're surrounded by our friends. We feel a little safer and we're probably easier to fool. We're getting a link or a video to watch from a friend of ours. And so we're much more likely to click on it if we do, we get infected. It's also going to go on our social media, and now all our friends will see it, and potentially they'll get fooled as well. Haley says there are many things you can do to stay safe on the Internet. Start with avoiding suspicious clickable links. Have good security software, and keep multiple copies of your personal information back up your files. It's really critical to do this. That way, if somebody gets and holds your files hostage, you have a copy, so they have no leverage over you at all. You just restore that fo those files from your copy, and you're good to go. For more information on staying safe on the Internet, visit Norton.com.